Amen. This is the day the Lord has made, and you and I ought to rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house or the presence of the Lord. We give God praise, glory, and honor this day, and I pray you are rejoicing already. Uh, We worship the Lord today in spirit and in truth, wherever you may be sitting, standing, or laying. I just pray that the presence of the Lord would be with you, for in his presence there is fullness of joy. I'm excited today about being able to go uh, before the throne of grace to be able to get into God's presence. What a privilege it is to pray. Jesus admonished us. He encouraged us. He exhorted us. He told us, commanded us. He said men and women ought to always pray. And I believe God knew that there was power. There is power in prayer. Jesus is a God of prayer. He prayed in his earthly ministry and he prays in his heavenly ministry. Now as he's seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercessions for you and for me. And so as we go to God today in prayer, we're continuing to lift up our theme for the 40 days of living the abundant life that God wants for us, living the abundant life that God has promised us. Jesus said in John 10, 10, that he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Of course, we know that our life doesn't consist of the abundance of things, but whenever God blesses us with resources, material blessings, spiritual blessings, he blesses us so that we can be a blessing to other people. So as we're praying today, we're again in day number 24. We're going to be praying from 2 Chronicles chapter 17 and verse 3 through 6. 2 Chronicles chapter 17 and verses 3 through 6 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. Now the Lord was with Jehoshaphat because he walked in the former ways of his father David. He did not seek the Baals, but sought the God of his fathers and walked in his commandments, and not according to the acts of Israel. Therefore the Lord established the kingdom in his hand, and all Judah gave presents to Jehoshaphat. And he had riches and honor in abundance, and his heart took delight in the ways of the Lord. Moreover, he removed the high places and wooden images from Judah. Amen. Today we want to pray for four things according to 2 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 3 through 6. Number one, we want to pray that we will walk in the commandments of God just as Jehoshaphat did. Secondly, we want to pray that God would establish us in his kingdom business, in his kingdom enterprise, in his kingdom work. We want to pray that God would establish us, make us strong in the kingdom. Secondly, we want to pray that God would bless us with riches and honor in abundance. And then we want to pray that God would, our hearts would take delight in the ways of the Lord, that we wouldn't be caught up in the riches and the honor so much so that we lose heart and lose our way in delighting in the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus name, we thank and bless and praise you today. We glorify you and magnify you. We just relish the opportunity to be in your presence today. Lord, you told us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and enter into your courts with praise and to bless your holy name. So we come in, God, lifting up our voices, saying hallelujah to you. We come lifting up our hands, saying thank you. We come bowing in your presence, just worshiping you, God, in spirit and in truth. And Lord, the truth of the matter is when we come into your presence, you are holy. And you told us to be holy because you are holy. But Lord, the truth is we've missed the mark. We've crossed the line. We've transgressed your word and your law. We've sinned and fallen short of your glory. And so today, God, afresh and anew, we confess our sins to you. And Lord, we ask that you would be faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and purify us of all unrighteousness. Lord, forgive us when we've not handled your resources appropriately. Forgive us when we've been selfish and stingy and not sacrificed what you've told us to sacrifice and meet the needs of other people. But today, Lord God, we pray that you would help us to walk in your commandments, that you would help us to walk according to your word, that you would help us to walk according to your righteousness, that we might live life that honors you. And we pray, Lord God, as we walk in your commandments and in your ways and in your word, that you would establish us in your kingdom, that you would establish us going in and coming out, 
that we would be stable and strong as we stand upon the word of God, that we wouldn't lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways we would acknowledge you. And, oh God, you would direct our pathways. We pray, Lord God, as we walk in your commandments, as we we stand upon the principles of the word of God and you establish us in your kingdom, that you would also bless us with riches and honor in abundance. God, bless us so that we might have everything we need for every good work you've called us to do. Bless our homes that we might be able to take care of our families. Bless our churches that we might be able to minister to our people and minister to your community. Lord, bless us individually that we might be a blessing to other individuals. We pray for riches and honor, Lord, in abundance, that we might have everything we need for every good work. Lord, you promise to supply every one of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We know you to be able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or imagine according to your power that is at work in us. So we readily stand and wait to receive the abundance of blessings that come from your hand. We know every good and perfect gift comes from above and it comes from you, Father, and there's no shadow of your turning. And so, Lord, today we pray that our hearts would take delight in your ways, that our hearts would take delight in your word, that our hearts would take delight in your righteousness, O God, that we would not fall in love with money, for we know that the love of money is the root of all evil. But, Lord, as we fall more and more in love with you, that we would be more faithful to you, that we would be more trusting in you, that we would be more devoted to you, we would be more committed to you, that we would delight ourselves in you. Lord, as we draw closer to you, we pray that you would draw closer to us. We thank you for this life of abundance. We thank you for your word and your kingdom and your blessings, O God. And we thank you that we have a relationship with you that's rich, that's real, and that's refreshing. And we believe victory in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today was day number 24, and we read and prayed according to 2 Chronicles chapter 17, verses 3 through 6. And I pray that your life would be blessed and you would live a life of abundance that God has designed for you to live. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Looking forward to hearing about your testimonies, about how God's been blessing you. We'll pray for you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.